Hello again, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Magi Nation for the Game Boy Advance. Yes, the Game Boy Advance. This was previously released on the Game Boy Color in 2001, but it had a Japan-only release of uh, 2002 on the GBA. Now, this is based off of a card game that was released in somewhere in 2000 that went on for like two years or so, had like three different sets, 300 different cards, and... It was actually a quite fun card game. Uh, unfortunately, my brother was a jackass and always played the more powerful dark deck that we had fight, We had ended up getting. One of the funniest things that I never knew about until my initial attempt at recording this several years prior was that there was a TV series. Yeah, from like 2007, I think it was Kids WB that was doing it. And... I mean, for 2007 wasn't that bad, it's just curious how they went from, hey, here's a game from 2000 that was a card game that became a video game, and they had made it into a animated series. I don't know, just weird why they suddenly brought it up, and they I don't even think that they had another card game along with it. Now, you'll also notice, if you are familiar with the Game Boy Color version of this game, that the character here, well, not that, not, yeah, that, that dude, um, the Game Boy Color version stars a character by the name of Tony Jones, who is a very American looking dude, like kid, blonde, blue eyes, red sweater, and all that. For the Game Boy Advance release, they had remade it for this guy, Dan, who, as you can tell, is very much an anime protagonist. <laughs> Now, there is a mod of the game that makes it so as, at the least when it comes to dialogue, Dan is replaced with Tony. I decided to replace that because it does not replace Tony's walking sprite. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So, for the most part, with all that out of the way, why don't we, why don't we begin this? Oh boy. That GBA music is going to be a little bit grating, I won't lie. Now, I did already play through uh, a good majority of this game before the Game Boy Color version, and audio had been messed up and whatnot. So, I know most of the ins and outs, most of the ins and outs of this game. That said, I will be using a walkthrough for this game, simply because I'd rather not have to try to do all that stuff offhand again. Warning, saving your progress during a new game will erase any currently saved progress. New game? Yeah. Game 1. Tavel Gorge. 5.32pm. Tuesday. Dude, this place is not safe. It's fine, what's so bad about it? If it's so safe, why don't you go in there? Hey, don't change the subject. You're the one who's supposed to go in. No way. Fine, let's get Benny to do it. Yeah, he'll do anything. Hey, Benny, want to go in the cave? No way I'm going in there. Hehehe, <laughs> you got told by your little brother. Shut up. What's up, guys? Who the heck are you? My name's Dan. I moved here a few days ago. Who are you? Ha, huh, did you hear that, Sly? Yeah, what a stupid name. Dan is a stupid name. Bony Bones is more like it. They even keep in the name joke. No, it's Dan. You don't like your new name? Deal. Hey, Josh, come here. Whisper, whisper. Okay, Bony, if you don't like your new name, you'll have to earn back your old one. Whatever. How? Go in this cave and get us a crystal. Of course, if you're too chicken, fine, I'll be back shortly. Ooh, Phony's a tough guy. Phony, bony, hee 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 hee. Well, I guess I'd better get this over with. Yeah, I was initially doing the Let's Play of the Jeep Game Boy Color version with kind of like this cool surfer dude sort of attitude thing, but. Man, our protag here does not fit that. 
He's got that very anime vibe where he's got a slight coarseness to a voice despite the fact that he's a teenager that's probably n not smoked a single cigarette in his life. Anyways, we're here to find a crystal. Got it. Oh no, I gotta get out of here. Also, who the hell uh, was also looking at his smile? He thought to himself, is that a one piece? Oh, wrong way. What? I missed. What? Did you hear something? What's going on? Uh. Burgle, burgle. Lymph work. Burger, merk, merk, merk. Blar, blar, walk. Wink. Lord. Walk, orgabo, arf, mokamo, yargamo. What the? Marf? Munga mung. Where the heck is this? Yagak! Weed! Rawr! What the? Exploding Sock Puppet. What? I don't understand you. Taxi Apple Sponge. What language are you speaking? Skunks playing poker, basketball, cheesesteak. I think he's crazy. Two words, three syllables. Sounds like bird? No, wait, plane. Dirigible Fork. He gives Dan a bracelet. Put it on? Did it work? Hey, I can understand you now. Ooh, finally, that was getting silly. My name is Aiden. I'm Dan. Dan, I saw how you handled yourself against those fiends back there. May I see the ring you used to call that creature? Uh, ring? You don't have a ring? What's that on the ground? This crystal? You used that to summon the creature? I don't know. I have no idea what is happening here. I've never seen anything like this. You're not from around here, are you? I'm from Tavel Gorge. Do you know how I can get back? Tavel Gorge? Never heard of it. The world is truly vast. Well, if you don't know your own way back, I'm sure Orwin could tell you. He's the elder of Vashnarum. Come, I'll take you. There. All right. Oh, yep, just gave me control. And now we can actually see our stuff for a little bit. Uh, none of it's really properly explained for some time, though. This way, Dan. Is it this way? Nope. This way. Yes. We continue on path. This does have a run feature. I could have sworn that there was also a jump feature, but I could just be remembering wrong from the Game Boy Color version. Anywho... This is the overworld. It's a pretty big place, but we're very limited in where we can and can't go at the moment. For example, we have to go this way. Hey, it's Aiden! Lower the stairs! Come, Dan. That's the entrance to Vashna Room. Lord, this is the perfect chance for us to get in there and cause some disarray. Shut up, Zat. I'm in charge. And I say we go in and cause the... Dis... Ray. Eh. Hurry, or the stairs will... No, we must not be seen. Run! Shut up, Zet, I'm in ch- Aiden, where'd he go? I won't lie, half the fun of doing the, the previous recording 
of this was voicing those two. It looks a little high at first, but if you get used to it quickly... It, d yeah, speaking of getting high, a dude just kind of chills in the same place. Welcome to Vashna Room. Oh man, I remember being so terribly lost in the first place when it came to this area. Oh, my controller's not screwing up. Ooh, a baloo leaf. What's a baloo leaf? Well, do well. Hey, I, I could tell you if the game told me. I'm gonna have to grab the instruction manual offline, and so I can tell. It made me a pretty ring. Take the time to care. Adopt. Take the time to care. Adopt an EBIT day. Hello. Are you a friend of Orwin's? Who? Oh, you're not? Orwin's the elder of Vashna Room, silly. Everyone knows that. Well, okay then. I'm going to explore a little bit because I like exploring. The inn is open even though it, the door is closed. Poe shuts it to keep the Weebos out from get, getting into his flower. Oh no, not the Weebos. Ick. And this is Poe. Would you like to record your journey and re recover lost energy? Not at the moment. Have a nice day. We'll be back here to talk with Poe in a bit. And see, then there was this, which is the item shop. Where we can buy stuff and things. <laughs> so, the blue leaf is a healing item. It heals 10, I want to say. Blue sap is also a healing item, but it heals 30. We'll get into those in a bit. I don't remember what the strength gym does, and the remedy drink is a status effect thing? I really should get the manual out right away. Wow, I actually had to find an old-ass tripod website to find this information. So the blue leaf heals 10, blue sap will heal 30, a blue root will heal 65, while a remedy drink cures any ailments on one creature. The gemstones that you saw, in, the par in particular the strength gem that this guy sells, uh, temporarily increases that stat by 5, which will be, you know, needed later. We'll also find runes which will raise a stat permanently by 2, and karmics, like strength, karmic, blah blah blah, will increase it temporarily or permanently by 3, but it will reduce another one by 1. There's also master runes, which increases all stats permanently by 2. There's also a bunch of special items, which we'll get into when we find them, because they are around. Don't cause me any trouble. Alright, sir. I'm the fastest gardener in Vashna Room. Uh, oh god. Yoink. And remedy drink. Good thing we didn't buy another one. Hi, you must be Dan. I'm China. Nice to meet you. How do you know my name already? I only just came to town. Oh yeah, this guy. Look. I think this is basically a tutorial of, hey, you can walk over stuff. Orwin told me not to forget to tell you that he wants to speak with you. How did he know? Evo gives me jelly beans for good grades, but I don't care because Bode gives them for free. That's a hint. You'll need this information for later. Let's see, I believe you... ...are just this. Blue leaf. Also, you can talk to these portraits. Wow. Yep. So what's the big difference between this version and the Game Boy Color version? Not too much. Besides the main pro tag being, you know, anime pro tag, all the sprites that are used for the faces are upgraded, I say as I look at this character. And increased in size so you can actually see who it is you're talking to. I like to collect spooky plants. Eh? Dan got five anamite. Meow. Okay then. Got five anamite and a meow. And a blue leaf. And we just gotta go. Oh, read this. Performing soon. The famous jug band Poed and the Ingredients. 
another name. The ingredients. Hello. How can I work this job? One day at a time. Good for you? No, I would not go through this again. But Orwin? No, Aiden. You think every someone is Kairos every year. Let's see. What was it last year? Pode? What were you thinking? I could have sworn the food he cooked gave me superhuman strength. But this time... And before that was Yaki. We couldn't shut him up for months. He went around shouting, Woo, yeah, I'm the great Magus Kairos Diggin. Woo. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. We just listened this time. Ah, this must be the boy. Yes, Dan, I'd like you to meet Orwin, elder of Vashnarum. Nice to meet you. Yes, yes. So you wish to get home, right? Where did you say you were from? Tavel Gorge. Tavel Gorge. Hmm. I've been from here to Orth and back, but that name doesn't ring a bell. Well, this is a dilemma. I'll try to figure out a way to get you home, but you must stay in town until then. I told you, I don't think he's from this world. Why do you? I need to think. So, what now? Well, I guess you'll have to stay in town. We'll get you out of here soon enough. In the meantime, take your crystal to Pruitt, the ringsmith. If you get hungry, go see Poet at the inn. You should go visit Pruitt. Yeah, okay. Chop. No, Vashnum. Archaic leaf. Hello. Don't follow Aiden on some foolish mission. Man, I was really torn between this and Digimon Redigitize. I'll do Redigitize at some point. But really, I did want to get this off the table simply because of nostalgia. But for those that don't remember where Pruitt was, she was over here. We're gonna enter tutorial land. Is this the ringsmith's shop? Yes it is, my name's Pruitt. How can I be of service? Hi, I'm Dan. I was told by Aiden to show you this crystal. Let's see. Oh, this is some pretty good Furrock Animite. Furrock? Animite? What do you mean? You don't know about Animite? Shall I explain it to you? Tutorial time. Well, Animite is a kind of crystal. We use ordinary Animite as money around here. So I can use this to buy stuff? No, no, no. Well, I mean, normally you could. But this is infused animite. What does that mean? Well, if you take infused animite and give it to me, I can make a ring for you that will allow you to control a dream creature. Dream creature? Is that what a furrock is? Right. You may have seen a few outside of town. Both the animite we use as money and infused animite come from dream creatures. But a dream creature does not produce animite unless it's been weakened. So you must first defeat one to get it. To do that, you need to use the dream creatures you have. I can help get you equipped with one if you need it. I guess it's lucky for me that I found this just lying around. Sure is. Well, since Aiden sent you, he probably wants me to make this into a ring for you. Be right back. <laughs> so what's funny is that the Game Boy Color version, the entire screen shanks violently when she hammers like that. Here you go. Dan got a good furrock. Ooh, there's a little animite left over. I'd really like to study this so I can buy it from you for 50 animite. Sure. Dan got 50 animite. Thanks. No problem. Hey, why don't you show that ring to Evu? I'm sure he'd be interested. Who's that? Evu's the historian, uh, when he can remember. You should meet him. Okay, thanks. And now we have a Furok. This little bastard is the creature that helped us, you know, live. He currently has one move, Scratch. So, here's how this works. Uh, we have, or we start a battle with 100 energy. If we're fully healed. In order to summon one of these dream creatures, the top left, or top right there, is expended from our energy. So yeah, this guy is pretty mighty, but he's essentially our little shield. What energy that he does not have, or what energy was not expended during the fight, 
will end up coming back to us as HP or energy. Anyways, here's Evu. Why, hello there, Pood. Would you like a cookie? Um, I'm not. Where are my jelly beans? Excuse me, does the historian live here? Ah, yes, history. I dabbled once. Once, I remember when they made the blue jelly beans. Please don't let this guy be the historian. Remember that little clue, quote unquote, that we got before about someone giving jelly beans for free? Are you the innkeeper? That's me. Poach the name. You want to stay here? All travelers are welcome. No thanks. Well, at least have some gel some uh, jelly beans before you go. Dan got jelly beans. Would you like to record? You know what? It's a good idea to record. Just in case something happens. You never know when it comes to video games. Going back up to Evu here. Give Evu the jelly beans. All right, we'll share. Ah, well, the, mm, the jelly beans are so feel so much better. Are you the historian? Yes, I am, young fellow. I'm also a master spellcaster. Or I was. Actually, I've forgotten most of them. I remember one, though. Here, take this spell book. Dan got a leaf cut. I hope you can put that to good use. Go ahead, ask me anything. Ah, okay. So, because they don't have an in-game uh, description for everything, you have to come to Ibu if you get something new. Bado Leaf restores a little of your energy. A Ribbly Drink cures all of a creature's stale critter's ailments. I can read. Leaf Cut deals a little damage to an enemy. Archaic Leaf raises a creature's skill. That's it. He's falling asleep. So yeah, if we get something new, we can come over to him and be all like, hey, what's this? Or we can simply, you know, refer to a guide, which I will, because yes. Because coming all the way back to Vashna Room from all the traveling is going to be a trial. Why are you so persistent? Even if he is the great Megas Kairos, we'd be better off sending him back to his world. Look, things have not been right lately. The dream creatures have been acting strangely. Don't you understand what that means? Your stubbornness is going to be the end of this nation. We have to tell him the truth. I've heard enough, Eden. I want you to leave Vashna room until all this blows over. But I think that Gaia would want to meet him. She might even be able to... I forbid you to take him from this town. Ages or not, the kid stays here. My word is final. Awkward. Hmm. Oh, Dan, I was just leaving for the weave. I see Pruitt made a fine ring for you. Yeah, she mentioned something about dream creatures and stuff. Dan, follow me. There's somebody, somebody who I want you to meet. Didn't Orwin say I wasn't supposed to leave the town? This is very important. Trust me. Well, if you say so. Dan, I want you to have want you to have this. Eldritch All. Uh, this will allow us to escape to a place where you can save, usually the last place that we've saved. It will help you escape from dangerous areas. Do you know how to control the power of the infused animite? For the sake of Tutorialville, we'll say no. Nope. Well, Yaki over there is the trainer of Vashna Room. Here, I'll introduce you. Dan, I'd like you to meet Yaki. Yaki, meet Dan. Oh yeah! How you doing, brother? I'm the guy that's gonna tell you how to nab those dream creatures and beat them senseless. Uh, I mean, beat them and nab them. Woo! So, what you gonna do? I feel troubled. Okay, tell me about basics. Woo! That's the spirit! Okay, here's the basics. I was gonna try to keep a Macho Man Randy Savage thing for that entire thing, but I don't think my voice can handle it. 
There are two kinds of battles you can get into. One is creature battle, and the other is magi battle. Creature battle is where you just fight dream creatures so you can nab them. Magi battle is a duel between you and another magi. All battles happen turn by turn, and you get one, that's right, just one action each turn. What can I do? I'll spare you the details for now, but the actions are focus, summon, spell, item, and run. How can I keep from getting hurt? hit? Basically, the creatures you summon take the damage for you. The only time you yourself take damage is when you don't have any creatures summoned, or if the opponent has a special ability to do that. And how do I win the fight? Oh yeah, that's easy! Beat down all those creatures and you win, brother! And in Magi battles, this includes the guy that's controlling the creatures. Of course, if you and all your creatures get beat up, you lose! However, as long as you still have a creature summoned, you can be in the worst shape possible and still win. So don't give up, and when the fight's over, you... Wanna know anything else, brother? <laughs> Please teach me. Okay, tell me about... Action. Oh boy. The first and most important action, brother, is summon. Oh yeah! There's only so much a match I can do just by himself, so summoning creatures is the best way to attack your opponents, and the best way to defend against them. So what can my creatures do for me? Lots of stuff! Different creatures have different actions, and each turn, your creatures will do the action that you tell them to do. They get one action per turn, like you. Sounds useful. But remember this next part. There are some downsides. For one, it takes some of your own energy to call one of these creatures. Second, you can only have out four creatures at a time. And third, creatures don't get to do any actions on your on the turn you summon them. So be careful, dude. Wanna know anything else, brother? Alright, tell me about spells. Casting spells! Dig it! Spells can deal damage, cure ailments, or power up your creatures. They also happen faster than most other actions, but spells take your energy to perform, so try not to depend on them too much. So yeah, basically, summon creatures, takes up your energy. Do a spell, takes up your energy. Let's focus. Dig it! Focus can be useful in some situations. It can give you that extra edge you need to bring out that important creature or spell. It can also help you recover when your creatures have the battle under control. Want to know anything else? So basically, focus will recover your energy, but it's very random. I've had it heal me in a very critical situation for 1 HP. I was not happy with that. I lost that one. Uh, action! Items! Items! Woo! Every now and then, it helps to restore your creature's energy with a blue leaf or improve your creature's power with a power gem. Items are all over. You can find them or go to a shop and buy them. But listen up, some items can't be bought at a store. For those items, you gotta look around. It could be lying around or a creature might be protecting it. So explore! Want to know anything else, brother? I love how uh, this character is devolved. This character's voice devolved from Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah, brother! To typical surfer dude. Uh, we've already done all actions, so let's do tips. Always remember to watch your energy. Don't drain yourself with spells if you don't have a good defense. Because if you and your creatures run out of energy, it's all over. Anything else? Don't be afraid to run if you have to. You don't get any reward for running away, but you would think avoiding a huge beatdown is enough for most people. Unfortunately, you can only run away from creatures, creature battles, magi battles, or honorable duels, so don't do anything cowardly or you'll be made fun of. Want to know anything else, brother? And finally, hunting. A creature battle is easy to get into. Whenever some creatures are nearby, you'll see a burst of dream energy. Just run right into it and you'll find creatures. From there, you can do battle and try to nab them. Want to know anything else, brother? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh yeah! Dig it! Woo! It's like a mix of Hulk Hogan, freaking Macho Man Rowdy Savage, and with Woo! From, uh, Frick, what's his face? I think I've had enough of this guy. 
just warned that there was a place to save here. I'm Salafi, apprentice trainer. Ready for a training match? Sure. Okay, first you should summon a creature to face me and my creature. In this case, we only have the Furok. Again, this is going to take 25 of my energy. Good, now have your creature fight with mine. See, there's a Weebo. And we can focus, or we can cast spells, or we can items, but we cannot run because this is the Magi battle. So, when we fight with our creature, we got fight, which is just attacking, defend, which is, you know, preventing more damage, or we get more powerful attacks, but that number indicates on the side there how much energy it takes for our creature of their energy to use that attack. So we scratch the Weebo, which will heal itself already before we slash out at it. We will focus again. It's gonna heal itself, huh? Nope, it attacks. The rock attacks Weebo. Weebo defeated. Enemy down. Gain one energy. And then from here, we can, well, basically just beat up our opponent. Oh no, you got my Weebo. Now your creatures can attack me directly. It's really neat, though, that they did uh, bother to basically make a I just, I don't know. The GBA version having everyone being remade, but in, um... I guess not higher definition, but more shading, more color. Salah defeated. Dan wins. Wow, great job, Dan. If you come back later, I might know some other tricks. Yeah, she actually gets pretty hard. She effectively gets, like, a small Weibo army. Scary and big. Won't we get in trouble if Orwin finds us here? Uh, we're done here. Are you sure you've trained enough? Yep. Well, in that case... Huh? What's going on? I don't know. I think it's coming from the Glade. Oh yeah! What's shaking, brother? I'm out of here. Aiden, what in blazes is going on? What are you asking me for? I don't know. And you have the boy with you, you fool! That's coming from the Glade. I'll deal with you later. Eden, what's going on? I was eating lunch and that quake made me fall right off my chair. And I just saw Orwin running through town like a madman. Where's he going in such a hurry? This isn't good. Let's go see what's going on. Shaky. Really quick, though. Uh, I say really quick, but traveling all this way back up here is going to be a mighty pain in the ass every so often. I just want to hit Pods up in order to do a quick save because we're not done yet. I would like to recover my er, the wrister. You know what I mean. So. With all this plot stuff happening, what are we going to do? Well, we're not going to immediately go towards the plot stuff because, honestly, if we do, we're probably going to get our asses kicked. I have been joking. I can go out and be all like, hey, to the Glade. Where's the Glade? Over there. And you can already see that there's something nasty going on over there. That's what glowy things mean. But we can explore to our heart's content. We can go this way and find ourselves a dead end because we cannot move this block. That's fine because we could also go down in this way where we can not go through because there's more blocks. That's fine, we can go back here, back towards the beach where after a long winding trail, we can actually start encountering stuff as soon as they start appearing. Anytime now. There they are. And then we run into fights. Now we can summon stuff. Oh, Balamant. Ooh, that could be a problem. 
scratch it. Now you'll see that there are three different areas where they totally are going to be able to summon shit. And we don't want them to. The faster we into combat, the less monsters that are going to be fought. And it sometimes feels like that they'll do they'll appear randomly. Ah, because Furlock did not have the energy to use Scratch, all he can do is attack. That's fine, the Mal Malons only had one uh, HP left anyways. And yeah, that's pretty much how we fight things in this game. Rune of Might. Bark Thimble. Actually, the Bark Thimble might be good. Rune of Might, as I said, runes can also... Let's see. Yeah, runes permanently raise that stat by one. And these little two slots here are actually where we can equip... Um... Relics. In this case, we're going to equip Furok with the Defense Relic and Bark Thimble. Because taking damage sucks. Summon up my buddy Furok. To fight it, eat it! And yes, that is essentially just a squirrel. Oh no. He's biting me. Tax the Ebit. And I'm so glad that we get to see the energy that the creatures have. Because I can tell you, it would be a atrocious fight system if we could not see what our opponent had for HP. Enemy down. Dan wins for Animite. Now every so often we will get infused Animite, which is, you know, as Pruitt was uh, explaining and demonstrating. Come on. Ooh. This might be a... Oh no, there's just a Weebo. Uh, but as Pruitt was saying, that it is in fact stuff that we use in order to get ourselves another little buddy, little pet. And yes, we can essentially just button mash through some of these early fights because if we do just focus on using Scratch, uh, it's going to be a relatively bad time. But as always, kill the healer, which the Weebos are basically healers. And for some silly ass reason, we can't attack ourselves. Ah, not another bite. The fact that the everything is so much faster than your creature kind of butts. I won't lie. Oh boy, he might be in a problem. Be in a problem. Be, be in trouble. Oh, we don't have the energy to use scratch, so I think. Try to fight the Weebo. Please do enough to kill the Ebit. Yeah! Weebo attacks Furok. Well. Furok defeated. No! Don't worry, we can just summon him right back up. If we have the energy. That's the important part. That's that he can't defend us on the first round that he's up either. Can't attack, can't defend us. Now what we can do is we can just use a good old fashioned... Yeah. So, I've had this happen before. I was trying to heal myself, but in a hurry, I had ended up healing the enemies for 10 HP, which is troublesome. Ew. Now, I might be thinking to yourself, Dar, why not just run away from a fight like this? Surely, being overrun with these monsters is worse fate. It is, but think of all the experience points you can get. Yes, this is an experience point based system. Five energy. Let's, let's help my buddy. And have him use bigger, better, better attacks, too. Bite. And should still be able to hit with Scratch. Yeah. Even defeated. Dan wins. 13 Anamite. 
Oh, we didn't level up from that? Ass. Might as well use a blue root. Alright. I want to at least get a level or two before we end up uh, calling an episode here. Ow! Did nine damage. I do not know how these tiny little bastards do so much damage, but they do. And again, any energy that the um, that your dream creatures have left comes back to you. So if you summon for 25, but get dealt all but one HP, that one HP comes back. I'm gonna use another balloon root. Paranoia. Don't mind me. Uh, you know what? I don't think running away is a guaranteed thing. But it's definitely something that is probably a better idea to do every so often. Creatures do get new attacks as well uh, as they level up. So of course you'll want to level up your creatures before, you know, deciding never to use them again. Ugh. That's I wouldn't mind a ebit at this point. Bastards keep on biting my fur rock. Hey, there we go. Leveled up to four. Energy is now 26. Strength end up. Strength, skill, defense, resist. That, I don't quote me on it. But I want to say that every level up is randomized. I want to say it does. Anyways, uh, one quick second. Right, sorry, I had to pull up the manual again because I closed it. Anyways, so, one of the big things is all of their statuses. This is, we have strength, which is for the effective, for your physical attacks, in this case, stuff like uh, punching, tackling, pummeling, biting. Skill is for anything that's a non-physical stuff, uh, anything that's like fire, wind, all that. Uh, your defense is to resist any of the physical damage. Hey, Den wins. Hey, Den leveled up finally. With resist uh, pertaining to non-physical attacks. Which is, yes. Ooh, a full rock. Awesome. If we can't kill it and get its uh, stuff, please. Ah, seven. Of course. There's also the stat, stat of luck. Oh, a second for off. Shit. This might hurt. For rock attacks for rock. Ugh, concerning. Because I don't know which for rock is my for rock. I should have used my for rock. Better. But yeah. Um. The less luck that a creature has, the more consistent the damage that they do. But if you have a high luck, your damage can sometimes be very, very good, but they will also sometimes do poorly. So, luck is not necessarily a good thing to have, strangely enough. So, yeah, the lower the luck, the more consistent your creature's damage is going to be. Furrock hit with scratch. Oh god, that's not my Furrock. I need to check if I can rename my creatures. Because situations where it's like Furok is fighting Furok is going to be a little bit uh, confusing. There we go. We finally got some infused dynamite. But yeah, uh, as you saw, Dan had leveled up. I think he levels up every 100 experience points. The Furok. It's an Ebit. And for every level up that he gets, he gets more energy. So the more energy, the more likely he can just defend themselves almost outright. What I want to do is I want to get another creature before I go into that other area there. Ugh. There we go. Then we got the energy, which of course is just, you know... Oh, two Ebits. Nice. And then we got... Um, Energy, which is, of course, basically HP. And yeah, with every 100 
experience points. You, your creature in the end bubbles up. And apparently the amount is based on the level of the difficulty of the fight. So the stronger monsters provide more experience points. Oh, a Balamint. Two Balamints. Shit, that's lucky. And how much experience? Okay. Now keep in mind though... Oh god, not one of these again. Keep in mind though, that as long as you are in a fight, or as long as you keep on fighting, you do risk basically just losing and undoing all the progress that you've just had. And I do mean all of it. I think we... No, I think Farrakh's gonna kick the bucket this time. Come on. Yes! Thank you for being at least slightly faster. Farrakh attack. Farrakh! Okay. We were lucky. We're only gonna get slapped once by this Farrakh. And then he's gonna waste five energy to hit me with Scratch, despite my energy being... My Ferox energy being low. Can't complain. I get slapped. Or CX. Furok attack Furok. Furok wins. Uh... Seven Anamite, one Furok, and... Oh, two? I'm stupid lucky this time. Energy to 29, yeah. Level up staffs have got to be RNG, I think. If I fight one more thing, I can theoretically level up. I think I'm gonna go for that. Uh, Balamant. We want more Balamant. Balamants are actually pretty strong, if I recall correctly. Mm, I take eight. Slap. Oh no, not a Weebo. Okay. Ch slight change of plan. Uh, you kill. You kill. We've got go! That's just enough to kill a Balamant. This will be worth it if I end up leveling up. Which I should. It's only like nine experience points to level. Yeah, now we can slay Weebos in one slot. Okay, and level up to three. Energy 120. Excellent. Alright, with all the Anamite and the infused stuff that I should have... Yeah, the list is the infused stuff that I have. I should be able to go up back to Pruitt and be all like, Hey, I want this. It's actually a really cool system, and it makes it so as you can level grind, or you can grind for the separate uh, infused animites. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, crew it! I'm so worried about Orwin. Yeah, that's cool. So, here we go. This is how we make uh, new monsters. The star-looking one is the Anamite that you need. In this case, we don't have any Twee, we don't have any Weebo. And the circle is the amount of, uh, well... <laughs> the circle is the regular Anamite, the star is the infused Anamite. So, we can make ourselves an Ebit. Uh, we haven't encountered any Tree Hinkos, Arbles... We've not encountered any Ravages, those are fun. We could theoretically go farm for one more Furok and make ourselves a second Furok. Plits, Binox, Rudwalks, Wasparines, those are fun. Balamint. This is actually a really strong one. I cannot make it because I am one Balamint away. Batars. Okay. Hyrens. For anyone that don't know, that don't know, that do not know, Hyrens are among the strongest of the str of the creatures. So if you went, um, 
So if you end up in a fight with them, be warned, you're in for a hell of a fight. But that said, when you actually get Hyrens on your team, they're usually the strongest. Uh, that said, while we do have enough to forge at least an Ebit, which I mean, yeah, I'll forge an Ebit. Need more Anamite. Oh, it's three. It's three Anamite to make an Ebit. No, okay. Well, in this case, though, instead what we can do is we can power up our buddies. Uh, for example, you... How much experience are you? 34 experience away? So if you find yourself in a situation where your uh, dream creatures are far stronger than pretty much anything in the area, you are going to get very diminishing returns upon your level ups. So you will get like 5 experience of battle, 10 experience of battle if you're lucky. So what you do instead is that you grind for that creature's uh, infused Anamite, and you come here to be all like, hey, I would just like to trade in this other Furok energy in order to get myself power up. And bam, that's all I need. Well, that and a little bit of um, regular Anamite. Oh yeah, bye! Now he's powered up, but he still retains that 34 experience points. Essentially just gives him straight up 100 experience. Which is fan-freaking-tastic, and I love. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to purchase some more... Two Baloo Saps, one Baloo Leaf, Energy Gym for the hell of it. Don't think they, uh, thought too hard on that. I'm gonna save and call an episode here. But when we return, I'm going to have done a little bit of grinding so that I can theoretically have at least one other dream creature on my team for the upcoming area. So, yeah, Magi Nation, BBA. Just imagine if we were playing the Game Boy Color version, we would be effectively working with lower sp color sprites and more, I guess, tinny music. Well, this music's actually pretty tinny too. Regardless, thank you everyone so very much for watching. This has been a fun little video so far, and hopefully I will continue to have as much fun as possible. If you guys are looking forward to more of the series, consider liking, following, subscribing. All that fun stuff really helps out the channel, and lets you know that I have released a new video out, out into the wide world of the internet. Um, and of course, if you want to support the channel in a financial fashion, I have a bevy of links down in the description below. Every little bit helps, keeps the roof over my head, food in my belly, and goes to upgrading my PC. Thank you everyone so very much for watching, and I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.